What's going on everybody? Verdict here. As a lot of you probably know, the latest update made some changes to the concrete barricade, which doesn't actually allow ladders to be placed on them, but forces the barricade to be placed just behind the edge of the floor. This allows the ladder to be placed on the floor. Unfortunately, this update mostly patched Rust Academy's anti-ladder method using the concrete barricade and stability cap, but fortunately for you, I figured out how to not only block ladder placement, but also block twig floors from being built without the need to build out the stability cap. If you're having a hard time believing me, I don't blame you, but however, I will convince you. As I fly over here, one of the first things you're going to notice is, I have my barricades placed at an outward facing angle. This does three things. It allows you to defend from this floor a lot easier because the angled barricade sits lower and also allows you to walk up onto them to get a better visual. But more importantly, not only does this force the barricade to extend beyond the edge of the floor, blocking the ladder placement, but because the barricade is placed at an angle, it also extends over the floor below it, blocking any twig from being built regardless of stability until the barricade is destroyed. Now, I don't know how many of you knew that you could place barricades on an angle, or how to go about doing that. So, for those of you who don't, I'd be glad to show you. It actually took me quite some time to figure out how to get the barricades to place due to some of the changes from the latest update. But based on what I know at this point, this method has one limitation. In order to block ladder placement completely, you have to use a foundation layout that connects perfectly on the exterior edge. If the foundation overlaps, you will be left with a gap that will allow laddering. With that said, let's get into the build. First you'll need to decide which floor you want the barricades to start on. Since you won't need to build out the stability cap for this method, I'd recommend starting on the third floor. So let's build a twig floor surrounding the second floor, since to get a barricade to place on an angle, they'll need to be placed on top of a twig wall frame. It's very important that you keep these twigs for two reasons. They're rounded, allowing the barricade to be placed on at an angle, and you'll need to destroy them all later. When we're finished with that, we'll need to place twig wall frames on the edge of the twig floor, all the way around the base. So, let's go ahead and do that. Now, let's move up to the third floor and place floor tiles to close off the gap. The reason we're placing floor tiles first is because in order to place the barricades, there needs to be a floor tile on either side of the wall frame you're placing the barricade on. I'm not sure why this is, but it won't place consistently any other way. Before we start breaking floors and placing barricades, we're going to start by placing wall frames on the edge of the exterior floor. This is very important if you want to be able to do this on the floors above. Placing the wall frames before the barricades will ensure that there is enough space to rebuild them after the barricades are placed, but also helps to add a gap between each barricade so you can shoot between them. Once the wall frames are placed, we'll start by placing barricades. To do that, select any one of the exterior triangles, destroy it, and equip the barricade. To get it to place on an outward angle, you will want to rotate it twice by pressing R two times. And do your best to center it between the wall frames. Once the barricade is placed, replace the floor and continue to repeat this process until you've worked your way around back to where you started.
I would highly recommend you wait until this point to start upgrading your floor, just in case that for some reason would affect barricade placement. But once you have fully upgraded the floor, you're going to want to destroy all of the wall frames because they would possibly allow a ladder to be placed. But if you forget, fortunately twig decays rather quickly, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to end this video with a small disclaimer. This technique without a doubt blocks ladders and twig floors from being placed. This will not make your base unraidable. Barricades can be destroyed and this will simply increase the cost to raid your base from the top down, as well as prevent anyone but you and those determined enough to raid you from ever getting onto your roof. And lastly, don't be surprised if this gets patched. We all know Rust Academy's got in 5 days, so until then, let's hope it doesn't. But thanks for watching everybody, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.